of Hong Kong. We we are discussing some control actually called as decision making and branching statement. Decision making branching statements. So if is a decision making and branching statement. So there are four formats of if statement: simple if, if else, if else, if else, next if. Like this, we have the four if statements. This is the simple if, uh, if else, uh, if else, if, uh, and uh, this is about uh, next if. So like this, we have the four statements. So among them, uh, now we we discuss uh, how to run some examples. So I will use. Uh, I will explain, I will go for some examples regarding the if statement, how to write the programs by using if statement. So actually we need indentation, indentation is very important, that's why. So how the, I already told that whenever you press, uh, whenever you press the uh, colon button, so then automatically indentation will be changed. If you are not press the colon button, the indentation cannot change. If you press the colon button, indentation will be changed. How we can use uh, such an indentation method? So we run uh, one. So we are using Python 3.6.8 version. So this is the version software we are and that's been called as Python 3. So now we go for some examples how indentation will be changed by using if statement. So we go for one by one examples. We call this comment program for largest of four. Two numbers. So I'll go first of all, I go for small examples. Indentation is very important. So actually, no need. So we need uh, two numbers x comma y, x comma y equal to. So we use map function map input map. Sorry. Uh, first of all, we have need type conversion input if you want to write a prompt enter two numbers comma sorry not dot split so this is the map function so when now by using map function we can read multiple multiple values the first parameter is the type conversion, second parameter is the input. So this is x comma y. So input, we are given two inputs. Then you have to check if x greater than y colon enter. So see, indentation is changed. So whenever I put the colon, automatically the indentation is changed. So if x greater than y, Column, then automatically indentation is changed. So print large equal to dot format. So after that, you have to set else. So else means you have to change the indentation. So you go for back. Else, 
again colon. So again, if you press the colon, the indentation is changed. Again, it's changed. Print. Plot equal to. I'll use uh, this uh, style. You can use any format, no problem. This is somewhat better, I think, the format. So this is the way to check this. Then you have to save the program. All Python programs as an extension dot py. Then you have to run the program by using f5. So enter two numbers. So I will give five and six. Five comma six. Largest is six. Suppose if you run one more number. Two numbers nineteen, comma largest is nineteen. So, like this, we use uh, two largest of two numbers. This is the way to write to find the largest of two numbers. Actually, program is not important. Actually, I sh here I show the indentation and formatting. So, how indentation will be changed? So it's necessary to show the, to find the indentations. That's why. So whenever you press the colon button, automatically indentation will be changed. So this is the format of uh, indentation. Now we'll go for one more example. Program for largest of uh, three numbers. So that's what we call as co comments. In Python, comments are specified by using hash. So any statement which begins with hash, that statement will be treated as a comment line. The comment line cannot be executed during the program execution. So that's what we call as a comment. Program for largest of three numbers. comma y comma z equal to map integer comma input enter three numbers from dot split so if I, suppose I want to separate the input by comma, we use comma. Otherwise, by default, is blank space. So this is three numbers. Then check whether the given number, first number is a, x is largest, large number or not. How will you find x is large? So x is large if x greater than y and x greater than z. If x greater than y and x greater than z, x is large. Else. If x greater than y and and x greater than z, here we cannot use the symbols. If x greater than y and x greater than z, print log equal to. Format X Elif 
else if that we can we can write the else if else if if x now then y greater than z y greater than z we are not put colon that's why indentation cannot be changed see so after y greater than z i am not put say colon that's why indentation cannot be changed so you always uh, put the colon after them otherwise indentation cannot be changed yes this is the way to write enter three numbers you have to enter three numbers 5 7 6 So you always run the program in all possible cases. So in this case, you have to run the program in all x, y, z. Three, four, five, five. So like this, you have to run the program in all possible cases. So uh, actually, possible cases means x. Uh, first of all, you have to check x, then check y, then check z. So like this, you have to check all all. So this is about uh, another problem. We we'll go for one more example. We'll go for one more example. to determine the given number is positive negative or zero so i will give one number so we have to determine the given number is positive negative or zero so i will give one number any number you check whether it is positive number or negative number or zero this is the process so i will go i will give one number n input Number. If it is one number, no, actually, so by default it is a string data type. That's why, so you must write the type conversion without writing the type conversion. So you will get the enter a number. So actually, by input for we we'll use input statement. So. Suppose if I not use the input statement, uh, then we get the some problem, a type conversion. That's why I put the type conversion. If n is uh, 
greater than zero colon. If you put the colon, you have to practice like this. If n is greater than zero, the given number is positive. Print. n less than 0 print negative print 0 if n is greater than 0 then the given number is positive if n is less than 0 given number is negative else positive so here we are using elif so then we can save the program then we have to run the program suppose I will give file as positive number minus 4 negative number minus 4 negative number if I give 0 okay so this is about uh, given number is positive negative or 0 so this is the way to write given number is positive negative or 0 <laughs> We go for one more example. Program given number is is divisible by by. If you want to print it as then what to do yes uh, no problem you put in uh, brackets then we print the hash no problem print of hash then we will get the hash no problem we are already printed one time in uh, formatted output you check the formatted output so I already printed star uh, hash you put the semi put within the quotations I will show here I will show uh, example divisible by 2 and 3 are divisible by 2 or divisible by 3 are not divisible by 2 and 3. This is my problem program given number is divisible by 2 and 3 so suppose if I give 6 6 that number is divisible by 2 and 3 suppose if I give 4 divisible by 2 only if I given 15 divisible by 2 and uh, divisible by 3 only if I given uh, uh, 16, uh, 16 17 which cannot be divisible by 2 and 3 so this is my problem. So what is the problem program to determine the given number is divisible by 2 and 3 or divisible by 2 or by 3 or not divisible by 2 and 3. The number is 2 and 3 to divisible out there. Kevalam 2 to divisible out there. 
కేవలం త్రీతోనే డివిజిబుల్ అయిద్దా అసలు దేనితోనూ డివిజిబుల్ అవుతా ఇది సిస్టమ్ నేను ఒక నెంబర్ నేను ఒక నెంబర్ ఇస్తాను ఆ ఇచ్చిన నెంబర్ని మనం చెక్ చేయాలి ఈ విధంగా అంటున్నాను డివిజిబుల్ బై టూ అండ్ త్రీ అంటే ఇప్పుడు సిక్స్ ఇచ్చాను సిక్స్కి డివైజర్స్ టూ త్రీ అంటే డివిజిబుల్ బై టూ అండ్ త్రీ అదే నేను ఫోర్ ఇచ్చాను డివిజిబుల్ బై టూ ఒకటి అదే త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇచ్చాను డివిజిబుల్ బై త్రీ ఒకటి సెవెంటీన్ ఇచ్చాను నాట్ డివిజిబుల్ బై టూ అండ్ త్రీ ఇది కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇది దీనికి నేను ప్రోగ్రామ్ రాయాలనుకున్నాను ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇది నా యొక్క ప్రాబ్లం ఈ ప్రాబ్లమ్కి మనం ఏం చేయాలనుకుంటున్నాను అంటే ప్రోగ్రామ్ రాసుకోవాలి ఎలా రాసుకోవాలి అనే దానికి ఒక నెంబర్ తీసుకోండి ఇన్పుట్ టైప్ కన్వర్షన్ పెట్టుకోవాలి టైప్ కన్వర్షన్ పెట్టుకోకపోతే ఏమవుతుంది ఇన్పుట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ యొక్క డిఫాల్ట్ ఏమవుతుంది స్ట్రింగ్ కాబట్టి రాసుకుంటాం ఇన్పుట్ ఎంటర్ ఏ నెంబర్ ఎన్ ఇంటీజర్ ఇన్పుట్ ఎంటర్ ఏ నెంబర్ నేను ఒక నెంబర్ ఇస్తాను ఇచ్చిన తర్వాత ఆ నెంబరు ఇచ్చిన నెంబరు డీజిల్ బై టూ అండ్ త్రీ అవునా కాదా చూడాలి ఈ విధంగా చెప్తున్నాము ఎఫ్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ టూ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఎండ్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు చూడండి నెంబర్ని టూతో డివైడ్ చేశాను ఇఫ్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ టూ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ త్రీ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో టూతో డివైడ్ చేసినప్పుడు జీరో వచ్చి త్రీతో డివైడ్ చేసినప్పుడు కూడా జీరో వస్తే ఇఫ్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ డివిజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఎన్ ఎన్ పర్సంటేజ్ త్రీ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో రెండుతో వస్తే అప్పుడు అదేమైతుంది డివిజిబుల్ బై ప్రింట్ కాకపోతే n పర్సంటేజ్ టూ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ముందు రెండింటిలో పోతుందా లేదా చూసుకోవాలి రెండింటిలో పోతున్నప్పుడు అంటే సింపుల్ వచ్చాం రాయచ్చు నెక్స్ట్ డిఫ్లో రాయొచ్చు ఇంకోటి రకంగా కూడా రాయచ్చు ముందు టూతో చేయండి తర్వాత త్రీతో చేయండి రెండు జరిగినాయి అనుకోండి డివిజిల్ బై టూ అండ్ త్రీ కాకపోతే డివిజిల్ బై త్రీ ఓన్లీ అవుతుంది ఇక్కడ దీనికి వెళ్తాను అనుకోండి సో అలా రాయచ్చు ప్రాబ్లం ఏం లేదు అంటే ఇక్కడ ఇది కొంచెం బెటర్గా ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ డిఫ్లో కూడా రాయచ్చు మీరు చెప్పినట్టుగా ఇఫ్ ప్రింట్ ఎ 
yes we have not put the colon here that's why we get the problem yes indentation change we have not put the colon not removed by 2 and 3 yes yes it's that's it so we save the program run the program yes if i go for 6 divisible by 2 and 3 we go for 6 so 6 is divisible by 2 and 3 I give 15 divided by 3. If I give 4 divided by 2. I give 17 not divisible by 2 and 3. This is the way to write the program. So this is the system. So it's a given number is divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 2 and 3. So this is the add value. We can also write this problem in next ready for If you if you try that this problem next day First of all, we check whether divisible by 2 or not. If 2, then we will check divisible by 3. If yes, divisible by 2 and 3. If else, divisible by 3 only. Else. So, else means uh, go for that. Again, we will check whether divisible by 2 or not. Uh, So I will write in next day false this problem. You see, uh, actually this the and this is one uh, program. So we can uh, this is called as elif. So here we are using elif statement. If else elif if else. So it is also possible to write in next day. Next day means an if statement which contains another if statement is called as next day. We can write the same problem in next day false. How to write and sometimes if required then only we can write that that's why sometimes we can write so for one example if you like by 2 and 3. So we get it. N equal to integer type testing input. Enter a number. If N mod 2 is equal to 0. You see the difference. If n mod 2, if, so here we get three indentations, that's why I will show this. If n mod 2 equal to 0, then we'll go for if n mod 3 is equal to 0. n mod, again indentation is changed. Main indentation, sub-indentation, sub n mod 3 is equal to 0. If n mod 3 equal to 0, print. Divisible by by two and three. Else, this else. Else. If 
n mod 3 equal to 0, then this will be 2 and 3 else. So, this will be 2, but not this will be 3. This will be 2, but not this will be 3. Yes, this will be 2, but not this will be 3 else. Oh, yes, here yeah, I will show. Divisible by two, but not divisible by right? else. I'll go for this else, not for this main program. Main. Again, it is changed. This is if if n more three is equal to zero. Print or go strong L if Raspal and then we can reach in Jordan. L if Riley and then L. L if N mod 3 equal to 0. Print. So this is next step. We, we have the indentation one. This is the main indentation. Again sub indentation. Again sub indentation. There are three. That's it. So programs are very easy. Very simple. That's. Because I will give 15, we will out, sorry. Now, ah, deal by 3 only, deal by 3 but not 2. That's correct. If I go for 6, six deal by 2 and 3. If I go for 17, Will not be will by two and three. I'll go for four. Will by two, but not will by. Three. This is the way to write the program. So this is the next step. So we indentation is changed from one to another, one to another, one to another, like this. This is the format. So, like this, we can use the decision making and branching statements in uh, C language, uh, sorry, Python. So, this is the statement uh, how to write uh, decision making and branching. So, this is the example one example. So, here you must uh, know indentation. So, when you put the colon after the condition, then automatically the indentation is changed. That is what. Sometimes you we will not get the correct indentations after the printing as so a print statements so you put the apostrophes that means end the semi and uh, two sides brackets brackets and colon 
otherwise also you can now you, you will get some uh, wrong integrations you find such a problem so you find such a problem and the rectify such a problems also so this is the way to write the programs in uh, python so input how to give the input how to give the multiple inputs what is the format so how to write the decision making and branching so i already given two large programs in c language so students can try to solve those problems in python once you can solve those solve those problems in python then automatically you will get good so this is about uh, today's class tomorrow we discuss uh, remaining okay any doubts you have to add them i will clarify your doubts if any student has doubt i will clarify